Okay, right, here we are again. Um, another kit. This is the uh, light water kit. Um, let's just uh, open it up and throw the bits on the table. Um, we seem to have a lot of identical resistors. Um, what have we got? We've got two ICs. We've got two IC sockets anyway. Let's make sure we've got all the yeah, two ICs, an IC socket. Now, um, looking at this, yeah, CD4017, which is just a, a decade counter type thing, if I remember rightly, and a 555 timer chip. So, what it's doing is it's using the timer chip to increment the output of this chip one at a time uh, and just run a cascading LED um, display really. Um, looking at it, it's, it's nice and simple, nice and easy. Um, what you do have the option of, um, although they've supplied these uh, red LEDs, um, and these, uh, let's have a look, what are they? Um, what's that old one? 120, uh, 120k by the looks of it. Uh, yep, without looking really close, 120k resistors. Um, you can actually, uh, dependent on the resistors and the uh, LEDs, you, you could actually change them for... Um, yeah, say blue or yellow or green or um, whatever you just have to look at the um, the current draw through the chip without looking at the specs I, I'm pretty sure it can handle most of the uh, the chips obviously the resistor and the LED have a certain volt drop um, I can't remember what it says this runs off probably 5 volts um, little decoupling capacitor um, yeah, anyway, um, rather than bore you with the, shall I do this live or shall I do this as a, a solder project, I suppose I'll start it off and uh, uh, and then um, go from there. Um, there are only two other, you know, real components on this, there's no point in me um, going into great detail of, of what's there because it's, it's a very basic setup. Um, you have um, a capacitor. Um, oh, if we split it into the two halves, which is basically there, you have the 555 chip, the capacitor, and the resistors, um, along with the variable resistor, and that basically controls the the speed of the um, the decade counter. Um, I'm probably not doing this in the middle. I should probably set it about here. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, so yeah, so those components there are um, the timing components for that chip. Um, that's just the power supply, that's a bit of wire from the last project, so there's the power supply junction. Um, the LEDs and these resistors are, are just based on the, the output of this and, and they count through one at a time in a falling um, falling pattern. Um, if I look over on the back of the board, um, yeah, you, you see they're all uh, commoned at one point, and then uh, through the resistor to the chip. Um, three. Uh, I'm trying to just count where the outputs are. Um, without looking. Um, yeah, so that's the timing output that goes into the chip um, that comes through there to that resistor. Yes, if I remember rightly, this chip doesn't actually follow in a one, two, three, four, five order. Um, let me have a quick look at that. That's uh, output through there, through there to there. So that's number three. This should be number two but it's not it's over here so yeah it doesn't follow out in a straight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten order um it actually jumps around um which is uh 
you know, quite confusing if you're expecting a nice, um, you know, pin to pin sort of ratio, but um, uh, it's, it's fairly straightforward to follow. Um, there, it, it's um, for what I paid for it. Um, if I remember the price, I think it was something like um, one pound fifty, um, if it was even that much. Um, one pound fifty, free shipping. I can't buy these components in the UK for that price, let alone have a full kit and a PCB. I think um, even on eBay, um, people are asking a pound for the 4017 on its own, which is, is ridiculous, really. Um, you know, it, it's just, how can the Chinese do this? They, they, they make things... Um, I won't say of the best quality, but they make things of a very good quality, um, and um, for a reasonable price. Um, let's face it, most electronics these days comes from China. Most of the things we buy come from China, so um, yeah, um, there's not a lot really you can say. Um, whether it be the top branded, your Sony's, your Panasonic's, um, your Nikon's, your, your Canons, or whether it's... Um, your, your cheap and cheerful gimmicky kits like what we've got here. Um, they all come probably from very similar factories, um, which is why I've never really been a, a brand person. Um, I, I've always looked at things for specifications um, and price. Um, a recent example was uh, I brought a, bought a branded TV um, from a major retail outlet in the UK um, and saw one of slightly higher specification a couple of weeks later um, in Lidl's, another supermarket, um, as one of their special offers. And uh, it, it just goes to show that um, if you're not brand conscious, you can get some real bargains out there. Now, some people will say, yeah, well, who'll buy a TV from Lidl's, but um, I would. Um, there's nothing wrong with uh, that. They're a they're a, a good European supermarket. They've got a, a good UK head office. Um, as far as I know, I've never actually had to deal with them, um, and they're not a million miles from uh, from the rest of the world. So uh, yeah, why not buy a TV from them? Um, I've got to admit, I buy all sorts of things in all sorts of places. But uh, when it comes to electronics. Um, Certain things I won't buy from China. Um, there are some uh, ICs that uh, I wouldn't buy from China. I would buy, you know, direct from the US or from the uh, Japanese factory, depending on um, what they were and where I, where I, what I needed them for. Um, because a lot of the stuff is cloned. It might say Texas Instruments on on the component, but the reality is. Texas Instruments have never seen it. Um, it's never come from a factory uh, anywhere close uh, to any of their manufacturing plants. Um, in fact, this one does say Texas Instruments on it. Um, but uh, I've got to say the logo is uh, pretty badly done. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't have said that came from Texas Instruments production lines. Um, and that says TI as well. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, the thing is, does it work? And, and the honest answer is, it probably works just as well as a genuine thing for what it's doing here. Um, if it was something a little bit more critical, um, you know, something like a, a calibrated piece of uh, electronics, then. Uh, Maybe I would use something slightly different. Uh, I would buy a, a branded component from a known supplier. Um, yeah, in the UK, I use Farnells for a lot of my components um, because I know where they buy their stuff from, and it's usually direct from the branded manufacturers. Now, whether it's produced in China or not, at least I know that uh, if I have issues with... Uh, the components being out of specification, I can go back to uh, Farnells and tell them that uh, they've just sold me a bag of nails um, instead of what I wanted, and they will sort it out. Um, I, I 
pretty sure that uh, Mouser in the US would do the same thing. Um, so anyway, rather than waffle on, um, let me solder all this together and um, we'll come back and we'll uh, see the effect when it's done. So, um, back in a little while. Okay, here we are back again. Um, just uh, about to put the final bits in. Um, now, you've got to be careful because these chips are opposite way round. Um, as I say, it's, it's not taken very long at all to uh, solder this together. Um, so let's put that one in the right socket. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, I could have done this live and you would have seen me soldering lots of LEDs in a straight line and uh, that would have been incredibly exciting for you. Uh, see, I've overbent that one now. When you do these kits, uh, they're, they're just, you know, simple you don't have anything um, hypersensitive on them um, they, they're just you know do everything with your fingers you don't need to worry about anti-static wristbands and anything like that now let's just fire up the power supply um, see what voltage I've got on it um, now these kits don't come with any instructions um, you've probably noticed that uh, uh, the last one and this one I've done have had nothing at all um, in in the packet. Some of the others do. Um, now that's five volts, and what we have there is a sequential uh, chain. Again, let's uh, just drop the lighting down, not up, um, just so that the camera can. Uh, Pick that up and there you are, you have a, a count. Um, if I bring the little screwdriver, which I haven't put away from the last kit, and you know, just hold it, you can speed it up. And you can slow it down. Um, to get it any slower than that, you would have to change the capacitor here for a different value. Um, bigger capacitor I believe without looking at what that one I haven't even looked at the values of these components as I say um, there are no instructions do you need instructions um, I think even the most um, 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 uh, what word am I looking for uh, the newest person to electronics um, shall we say um, you know if, if you're um, if you're a dad and your 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 child wants to get into electronics, um, this would be something they could follow without an instruction manual. Um, all they would need is a copy of the resistor colour code, and um, you know follow the markings on the board. It, it it just tells you everything you need to know. Um, obviously, once you get a little bit more experienced in it, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, you know things like that you just you know like I do you just bang it together and um, there you go you have a, a kit hopefully it works um, so let's just speed that up a little bit because um, I like the uh, I like the faster sort of reaction there it's it's, it's just counting through um, I could put up a scope tra uh, trace of showing you know the pulses coming out of there going into there and uh, um, that would just involve me moving the cameras and setting up other bits of kit which uh, I don't have easily to hand for video, shall we say. Um, certainly for for my own use, the scope is right in front of my face because it's a rack-mounted scope, um, as is the frequency counter, as is the power supply, the signal generator and all of that. But, um, yeah, there we go. Uh, I could waffle on for ages about these things, but, um, yeah... For a quid and a half, um, you can you can build this up, and as you see, it's it's a little effect. You can you know, what would I do with it if uh, now that I've built it? Um, well, apart from it looking pretty, um, hmm, uh, what could you do with it? Oh, chase light sequence. Um, everybody remembers uh, 
Knight Rider, I suppose. The well, I don't know if you all remember the original series, but uh, certainly the new Knight Rider um, had uh, a chase light sequence. Uh, mind you, that was backwards and forwards, wasn't it? So you'd chase one way and then you'd chase the other way, and you'd do that quite a bit slower. Um, what else could you do with it? You, you could do a, a falling falling display from, for Christmas. Um, you could actually, instead of having the resistor LED output here, you could put a transistor um, output from the chip. So replace the LED with a base of an MPN transistor and um, you know, have a, a common supply to it and then switch, you know, 10 different sets of fairy lights in a sequential order you you could make a, a fall or a chase sequence across the um across a window or across the front of your house at christmas time um what else can you do with it oh um just whatever your mind can turn it to really it's it's actually just a basic demonstration of counting from one to ten which is what this chip is doing it, it's just counting um, up in the order um, and this is your basic um, you know pulse circuit it, it, it just says right next one um, th this is running as a, a timer oscillator it's just saying right pulse off pulse off pulse off pulse off and the chip is doing the um, the real work of uh, you know okay when it receives a pulse it says okay I'll go to the next one and then the next one, and then the next one, and the next one, or in this case it will be going that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and uh, yeah, um, that's it. So for beginners electronics, get them from China. Um, links will be in the description. Um, I got this from AliExpress from uh, a very good seller. Um, came within, within a week and a half, um, which I thought was... Uh, very reasonable um, for free shipping um, I did actually buy sort of 10 kits at once and um, they all came in the same envelope as you saw in the last video and um, yeah you know for the price you pay uh, I think um, all 10 kits including shipping came to less than 12 pounds so um, yeah <laughs> you, you can't really um, you can't really beat them on price so uh, congratulations to that seller with that i'm going to be quiet and uh, see you in the next video thanks very much